What's going on, everybody? My name is Brandon. This is Potty Mouth Sports, your spot for uncensored and unfiltered sports opinions. Today, I'm going to be introducing a new segment on the channel. It's going to be called No Cap Recap. I'm basically going to be recapping all the major events and headlines that happened throughout the week in each of the leagues. So I'll be expecting new episodes of No Cap Recap every single Friday on Potty Mouth Sports. I just believe this is going to be the easiest and most organized way to cover sports news and sports drama that happened throughout the week in each of the leagues, the MLB, the NFL, and the NBA. So I'm just going to compile everything into one episode. It's going to be called No Cap Recap. It'll be out every single Friday, and it'll recap all the events that happened throughout the week. And Zooming with the boys is a good opportunity to get more analytical, see some new faces, get some new opinions on the channel. So, Zooming with the boys is going to be a weekly reoccurrence on the channel. It's going to be coming out every Wednesday, new episodes every Wednesday of Zooming with the boys, and then you get the no cap recap on Friday. So, I'm excited to deliver new content to the channel, but without further ado, let's get into this recap. So, we're going to dive right in. We're going to start with MLB. The New York Yankees are having a COVID outbreak right now. They have eight people infected with COVID-19. I don't really understand how this is all happening because a lot, all of the players got vaccinated, I mean, a couple months ago, I believe, right before the season. It's mainly coaching staff. I know that our first base coach and our, I think our hitting coach has been infected with COVID-19. Praying that the outbreak doesn't reach the players. Maybe some of the players didn't get vaccinated. I don't know what's up. I'm not in the New York Yankees organization, but prayers up for the New York Yankees, for the pinstripes, for the Bronx Bombers. Hopefully they get that shit situated real soon. Albert Pujols has been officially released by the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. I don't see him staying in free agency long. There's a lot of shitter teams that would be gladly to pick up his bat just for the off chance he hits the 15, 20 homers that he usually does throughout the season, a full length season. So I don't see him staying in free agency long. I see one of the shitter teams just picking him up on a vet minimum contract or something like that, just to have an extra bat and just have a vet presence in the dugout. So stay tuned for Albert Pujols news. Rob Manfred and the MLB are finally getting a kick in the pants. The MLBPA, or the Players Association, is seeking $500 million in grievancy damages against the league. They're basically claiming that the league could have fit in a lot more games last season. There was only 60 games. There's usually 162 games in a regular MLB season, which is a big fucking drop. They're claiming that the league didn't do enough to expand the schedule, put in more games, and it led to a loss of revenue and just general overall loss for each player because they're not playing as many games, so they're not getting the salary that they get. Good luck, Rob. Get ready to get your checkbook out, buddy. And Rob Manfred is in the news quite a bit this week. So Rob Manfred and the MLB are encouraging the Oakland Athletics to prepare for relocation. They're citing structural damage to the stadium and other bullshit excuses. We're going to call a spade a spade. The Oakland Athletics, small market team, small fan base. California is a COVID-strict state. They have a lot of restrictions and guidelines on how many fans can come in, shit like that. So with COVID restrictions in California working in one hand and Oakland being a small market team to begin with in the other, this is the perfect opportunity for Rob Manfred to pull a team out of California and relocate them to some sexy spot like Las Vegas or Nashville. And that's what they plan to do. So more news on the Oakland Athletics potential relocation coming up soon. That leads us to the NFL. I'm very excited to announce that the 2021 NFL schedule has been released. There are two games in London, England. Tom Brady finally makes his return to Foxborough to play the New England Patriots. I am very excited about the NFL season coming up here in about three months. I might be going to two games. I know I'm going to one game for sure, but two games potentially. Might be going to the Miami Dolphins at Tampa Bay Buccaneers game in Tampa. And I am going to the New England Patriots at Miami Dolphins game in Miami Gardens, Florida, week 18. Cannot wait. I am so fucking pumped. And in regards to the NFL schedule, definitely going to be a Zoom in with the boys episode on that. We're going to go over the schedule and we'll do our predictions for the season. 
but we're going to kind of wait until the season kind of creeps up on us to do that, see if there's more free agent signings, trades, shit like that, before we make our predictions and go over the schedule. So stay tuned for that. I'm just going to briefly skim over the holiday games for the 2021 season. So the Raiders and the Cowboys and the Bills and the Saints play for Thanksgiving, and the Packers and the Browns and Cardinals and Colts play for Christmas. So... Stuff yourself with turkey, hang out with your family, drink a fucking fridge, do what you do. But we got some good games for Thanksgiving and we got some good games for Christmas as well. In other news around the NFL, quarterback Blake Bortles has signed with the Green Bay Packers. This basically means bye-bye Aaron. I mean, it's not guaranteed right now. They still have to figure out where Aaron wants to go, how many teams to bring in with the trade to try and get assets back for, you know, the reigning MVP of the league. But... When you have quarterback Blake Bortles and you have a first-round draft pick in Jordan Love at quarterback as well, they're preparing for Aaron Rodgers to leave Green Bay, and I can see Aaron being moved in the month of June. So stay tuned for Aaron Rodgers' straight rumors. Head coach of the Jacksonville Jaguars, Urban Meyer, has a beautiful, dark, twisted, sick, perverted hard-on for Tim Tebow, and nobody really knows why. It's kind of dividing the organization right now. I know that Urban Meyer was uh, Tim Tebow's coach in Florida, but to try and bring Tim Tebow in to play tight end really doesn't make any sense to me. He's been an analyst on ESPN in this time. He's tried the whole baseball thing with the Mets. He's been out of the league for, I believe, fucking, what, six years, seven years, something like that. You're just going to take him off the couch and just plug him into tight end for Trevor Lawrence and Travis Etienne's offense, huh? I mean, it doesn't really make much sense. It's one of those college love stories, in my opinion, that Urban Meyer needs to get a fucking grip. He's in the NFL. He's in the show. He's with the big boys now. And you can't just fucking call up all your old boys to see what they're doing just to plug them in on your roster. It's the fucking National Football League. It's supposed to be professional, and Urban Meyer, somebody needs to be in that year to tell him to fuck off and to drop it. Last but not least, that leads us into the NBA. The season is wrapping up. There are two games left for the majority of the teams, and the play-in tournament will begin on May 18th. I'm excited to get this bullshit over with so we can get into the actual NBA playoffs. In the Eastern Conference, there are 11 teams that have not been eliminated from playoff or play-in contention. And in the West, the 10 teams that are going to be either in the play-in tournament or in the playoffs have been set. It's just going to juggle in the next couple of games because some teams haven't clinched playoff spots. It's just the Western Conference is so fucking tight. So the next two games are very crucial, and it's going to be very exciting to see these next two games, and then we'll have to bore ourselves with the play-in tournament until the actual playoffs start. In other news around the NBA, Russell Westbrook has officially passed Oscar Robertson for the most triple-doubles of all time. Congratulations, Russell, on the amazing accomplishment. you still got some years on your belt as well. I am excited to see how far you can stretch that record because I don't see anybody touching it in a very long time. You still don't have the chip and you still don't have the dip, though, but it's okay. And to wrap up our NBA news for the week, my favorite baseball player of all time, Alex Rodriguez and billionaire tech mogul Mark Lohr, signed an agreement to purchase the Minnesota Timberwolves for $1.5 billion. I didn't know they were worth that much. Holy fuck, like, I know the NBA has skyrocketed in the last 10 years in value, but the Minnesota Timberwolves for $1.5 billion? Might have overpaid a bit there, Alex, not going to lie, but you're a smart investor. I can see you uh, trying to turn this organization around because it has been an absolute fucking dumpster fire, dog water, hot mess for the last 15 years, ever since Kevin Garnett played there. And that concludes our first segment of No Cap Recap. I appreciate all the support that the channel gets. I appreciate all the support that we get on Instagram and Twitter. Link is in the description. Like, comment, subscribe if you would like. Let me know what you think about this new segment I'm introducing on the channel. I hope everybody has a great weekend, and I will see all of your beautiful asses on Monday.